and in 1993, I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior and was baptized. My career in show business started in 1995. From being an extra in ABS-CBN, I received an exclusive TV contract with Star Circle as a comedian. I starred in many sitcoms, teleseries, movies, and TV commercials, making me well-known in the industry. Yahoo! Sadly, I began to compromise in my Christian walk. I drifted away from my faith and turned back to my vices. Gambling, drugs, womanizing, all of it. I live a lifestyle that is not only unhealthy, but worse, ungodly. It was the peak of my career in 2008 that God gave me a wake-up call. When I lost my dad to sickness, his death made me realize I cannot continue living the way I used to. From then on, I decided to live right, not just living right physically, but at the same time spiritually. I sought God and strived to live uprightly. However, that decision somehow cost me my work. Slowly, I lost my TV roles and movie projects. I started to get worried as our finances began to deplete. I asked God, how can I pay my bills and provide for my family? I questioned Him saying, Kung kailan ako gumawa na mabuti, dito ako masisiro? Sometimes, God has to break us in order to build us. We trust God in everything, even in challenging times. Hupo meno. As I prayed, God gave me the wisdom to put up a sports organizing company, and it did very, very well. From 150 runners in 2010, our events grew to about 10,000 runners. Praise God! In 2012, I met Pastor Danny Orkiko through one of our event's beneficiaries. My whole family started attending Sunday services regularly in CCF Taytay. We joined Pastor Danny and Don's discipleship group. Since our business is doing well, we decided to build our dream house in 2017. By God's grace, I also became more active in ministry and soon began speaking in different CCF satellites. Everything seemed to be doing well both in the family and in our business, or so we thought. My wife and I had a marital problem that almost pushed us to separation. She had an affair and it deeply hurt me. However, by God's grace, even in the midst of pain, God was able to restore us. Because of the challenges and breakthroughs God did in our marriage, He used us to minister to about 20 couples in the D-groups we handle. We also had the privilege to serve as part of the Council of Servants in CCF Angono. In 2019, with my desire to serve a bigger community, I decided to run as a counselor in Tai Tai Rizal. However, I lost. Our finances started to dwindle. God impressed in our heart that we should sell our dream house. Our family struggled a lot with the idea, even bargaining with Him saying, Wag po, Lord, bigyan mo na lang ako ng work kahit ano pagtatrabahuan ko. However, God's plan for us was different. As painful as it was, we sold our dream house and everything else that we can sell. I always remember my D-group leader saying, Hindi pa huli ang lahat. Pwede ka pa mag-umpisa ulit, Merwin, from scratch. Basta ang importante this time, kasama natin si God. True enough, after selling the house, the pandemic hit. In retrospect, with lockdowns happening here and there, we would not be able to survive if we decided to keep the house. At least now, Though we are just renting, we have enough savings left to support our family. Truly, we see God's hand in our life's up and downs. He is in control, and anything under God's control is never out of control. During these challenging times, God has blessed us with a small food business named Corny Doggy Premium Corn Dog that went viral online not only about the business, but how God works and provides. Yahoo! This is Berwin Maley. To God be the glory.